Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on the Disney Dollhouse issue 15. Here are the parts and the book. Let's get the book open and what you see is we're going to be doing more, I think it baseboard or more likely wainscoting. And in here we also have some character parts. Not really character parts, they're just decoration parts. Here is part four of the um, trim. This should be the top. This should be the bottom, I believe. I'm guessing. Actually, let me see. I really don't see much of a difference on them. I forget. Long time. Okay, yeah, there is. Long time ago, I figured that out when I was first starting this. Right there. That groove there is how you tell. That goes on the bottom. We have the three little panels. And then, like I said, we have the decorative parts. We have two... Um, Swim rings, lifesavers, whatever you want to call them. And they are, they're not sure what kind of plastic they are. They're pretty solid. We have a Donald, we have Donald's hat. Or it looks like, it says Chapeau de Marin, a sailor's hat for Donald Duck. And then we have a cactus. I'm guessing all of those will go in the Donald Duck. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way, and we'll do some building. Didn't didn't have to. Uh, what was I going to say? I didn't have to um, get any translations. This is pretty straightforward. This four is going to go on the back because if if I leave it this direction, it's going to show. This is going to go on here like this, and I don't think, now I don't see any symbols for glue, so these are just going to push in here, and they are pretty tight. Actually, let me pop this one back out, because what I'm looking at is right there. There's a little bit of a mark where they cut it off the sprue. See if I can get that, remove that without making more marks. That should be good. And the second way I'm going to also make sure it's not that visible. Making sure, I'm just looking at the two edges. They're identical. But the other way is I'm going to put those sprue marks to the bottom. This one has one as well. File it a little bit. Pop this on here. This, even if this was on the top, it wouldn't be that evident because this is at the back of the room. This one does not have any. So now we're, oh wait, there it is. Also on the top, let's try this instead. Now that makes it worse. Flip this over, put it on here. And so what, it's, what I'm looking at in the pictures is that when you line up this end, you'll have a little bit of a, an overhang on this end. And since this gets put together, then immediately gets put into the house, right there, I'm going to put some glue on it and then put it in place before the glue sets. 
and make sure that it's Sorry about that. Rolled away. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue on it and get it just set enough to where I can get it in place here. It does say to make sure that you verify that this is pushed in back here and everything. Not going to be able to do much of that with a clamp. What I will do is put a clamp here and the longest one I can get in there. Double check on here. So this bottom piece is exactly the right length. So let's go ahead. Actually, I cleaned this out earlier. So this should be good to go. Oh, yeah. Look at that flow. And I did order some better bottles or the uh, glue, and I also ordered some um, wood glue, which is going to help a lot on this. So let me see. Oh, there, that's better. It's hanging way out over the edge there. This glue will dry clear, so I'm not too concerned if it runs over a little bit. Let me double check that overhang. It shows flat on one side and overhang on the other. We're going to go ahead and put this on. And I like the way these panels work because they're actually, the back of the panel itself is not going to touch the wall the way this is set up. The back of the panel is held away from the wall a little bit by the um, by the top and bottom panels. So now I'm going to take this and apply some glue because right now I'm I'm still using regular white glue, which means it sticks, it'll dry and hold well, but it doesn't hold solidly for a while. So now let me get some glue on my fingers. I do that a lot. Slide this part back in here. Push it all the way back. Get it pushed down into the groove. That's, and that's the key thing, is getting it pushed down into the groove is going to lock it in place more than anything else. Almost pulled that off again. And, it, and you can see there, it is pushed down into the groove. That piece is in place. So I'm going to hold everything in place while it dries with a couple of small clamps. And then we're going to grab a bigger clamp. If it'll reach, it will not. I'm not going to go overboard. It is up against the wall. It's clamped in there. Oh, I did not put away the uh, Little Mermaid treasure chest yet. But there, that, let me double check. Yep, 
c'est fini. That is all there is to do in stage 15 of the Disney Dollhouse, or issue 15, sorry. I said that I was going to call these issues. Hope you're enjoying this. This it is going together really well. I'm sure that it will have its moments. All part works do. I'm still waiting for something to go wrong on the uh, on uh, ET. Um, if you're enjoying this content, hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a you know subscribe to uh, be to be notified anytime I post new content. Leave me a comment. I love comments. You know, let me know what you're thinking about this build. Um, appreciate you stopping by. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you in the next video.